Alright, hey guys, this is really here with MLP Gamer. Um, I promised you guys I'd be showing you guys a video on how to use crossover right here. Uh, what crossover does is it can switch something um, ending with EXE to something that's Mac compatible. Um, it's meant it's it's meant for games, but it also comes with a wine bottler which you can use. So um, yeah, just listen to the video. I uh, hope you guys like it and uh, yeah, enjoy. So first step is you're going to go to your internet browser, type in crossover, whatever you want, just type in crossover, Google, Google Chrome, whatever, Safari, doesn't matter, type in crossover. What you're going to do is you're going to click download free trial. Now the thing is, yeah it's a free trial, you get 14 days, no credit card, no obligation. Um, I'm going to be making another video on how to get the trial for free uh, forever, which is what I have. So you're going to install that, just put in fake stuff, unless you're actually wanting to buy it. Uh, I suggest getting the trial before you buy it though, because you might not like it. So, yeah. So put in that stuff. Um, once you downloaded that, this will pop up. Open it up. And just wait a second. Okay, so it says three days. What mine does is it goes down all the way to zero and then just restarts back at 12. So you're just going to click try now. And no, nothing's going to pop up. Oh, well, this will, this will pop up. Okay, so this comes up and you'll see you can't, can't do anything with it. Nothing, nothing happens. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to... You go to configure, and you're either you're gonna, well, you're gonna click install software. This you're gonna click install software if you want to download a game. Now this is how me and Shaffler have Rift and a bunch of those games. So you see all these games in here. They even have like Microsoft Office and stuff. You just click proceed and it'll download. Um, you see here's Rift. Uh, let's see what they have Skyrim right here. Let me get that in there actually. <laughs> Steam. Uh, what Steam does is, well, if you download Steam, you know Steam is for Mac and PC. When you download Steam, what this is going to do is it'll make it so you can buy PC games on your Mac. So that's pretty fun. That's what I have. I can get me in. So you're going to download any game, whatever you want. Click install, whatever. Or you can go to, see I have Rift right here. You can go to Manage Bottles, which will bring you here. Add a bottle. It takes like 10 seconds to make a bottle. What a bottle is is it's a wine bottle, and it'll it'll make it'll it's like something you use to run run exe things on. So here goes one right here. So um, yeah, let's let's find let's find an example for us right here. How about rooms of magic? Game. So, let's go, okay. Brains of Magic. Now, this is an only PC game. So, let's see. Let's download it and see. When you download it now, oh, this is only for things that are for PC. This, the little crossover symbol is going to pop up right there instead. So, you click OK. And a couple of stuff is gonna open, and that's how it's, that's what's supposed to happen now. I wouldn't click any of that stuff because where it says like, would you like to run this in a certain way? Would you like to collect the data? Don't do that because I figured out that actually, if you're hacking to get this for free forever, then they don't find out and it'll delete it on your computer. So here we go. It's magic, and I'm on a Mac. Awesome. I've never actually played this game. So might as well just download it. <laughs> All right. So that's pretty much it. Um. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys liked it. Um. Send me a message or in the comments if you need to know anything else. Um. You guys can watch my other videos soon. How to get it free forever. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, hope you guys liked it, and uh, stay tuned for the next video.